everyone, I'm Marianne. I'm a visual artist from Singapore, currently in Singapore, and welcome to another installment of my weekly vlog series, Live Your Dream. So this is where I share what I'm learning in my journey so far as an artist, as someone who is creating a worthy and meaningful purpose for myself, which entails like following my dreams, going after what really matters to me, going after what I'm passionate about, and really doing the things that I love, because ultimately I believe that each of us here, we have this one life to live that we know of, and you are the best person who can best live that life that you have. There is no comparing yourself with someone else and what matters to you will be different from what matters to someone else. And it is really up to you to figure that out and to decide whether you want to go on that journey and on that path of pursuing your dreams and what you know calls to you and what matters to you versus just going with the flow of things or going the conventional route like everyone else says that we must or we should. Um, there's really no right or wrong answers here. Ultimately, it is what choice you make and which consequence can you actually live with when, it, you know, according to the choices that you've made. But if you're someone who has decided that you want to pursue your dreams, you want to go on a path that matters to you, then this is a series where I share what I am learning in my journey in the hopes of inspiring, motivating, encouraging you to keep going on yours. And at the very least, you will know that I'm going to be here week after week sharing something that I've learned, so at least you know that you are not alone in your journey. So if you have questions about this, feel free to ask them in the comments, or you can also directly message me through any one of my social media links which you see in the write-ups attached to these videos. So I struggled a while thinking about what to talk about this week because I am in the midst of integrating some realizations and learnings about myself and about um, how you know we as human beings operate and function based off of like our um, our you know <laughs> patterns, behaviors, um, conditioning, trauma, you know, call it whatever you may. And so I got very um, I got very stuck trying to figure out what to share. And then I decided that, you know what, why am I always making things so complicated? Like, you know, pick something simple and just share from there. Like, <laughs> so this is my own thing, right? Where I tend to, you know, something that can be so simple, sometimes I just make such a big thing out of it and overcomplicate things. And even when it comes to my art, you know, like last in last week's vlog, I shared about um, getting connected again to what I love and really asking myself what do I love and creating from that place and every single time I create I always confuse myself around there thinking that oh you know if I want to inspire people I have to make art that inspires people and then I have my idea of what that's supposed to look like. So this is what I mean by our conditioning and patterns. We have ideas of what we think life is supposed to be like, who we think we're supposed to be and you know even when it comes to our dreams we have an idea of what that is supposed to look like when really we have no clue what that would turn out to be like because we, we can't predict the future. Um, so it has been a very interesting week trying to sort out some of these things and I decided then you know to keep things simple and I think the thing that I really want to talk about this week then is you know how do we stay on track towards the thing that we want, towards our dreams, towards our goals that matter to us. Um, towards, you know, in my case, creating from a place of love and doing the things that I love. Because I found in my experience over the last, you know, well, my whole life pretty much, <laughs> every time there is a goal that, you know, matters to me that I want to strive for, it is so easy to get off track. It's like, you know, in a moment of clarity, I would be like, okay, you know, I'm going to go for this dream. You know, I want to be like an actor back then. Or I want to be a singer-songwriter again back then. And then, you know, for the last nine years, I want to be an artist. And even in the last nine years, I have seen myself wavering in my resolve to be, really be an artist. Like, I don't think I would ever give that up. But I was not also 100% fully committed to it. Because that's also where I started exploring other possibilities like being a life coach and being a voice coach, being a singing instructor. Um, and what I realized this year was a lot of that was because I felt that me as an artist alone, it's like, you know, not good enough. And also because, you know, everyone nowadays seems to have so many titles, you know, the whole hyphenated um, job title thing. And I just, you know, was like fear of missing out and didn't want to look like I only had one thing that I was good at. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with having just one thing that you're good at. 
And just because I'm a visual artist doesn't mean I'm just good at that one thing only because, you know, even in the realm of visual arts, there's so many things that I could be good at and explore and combine and um, you get my point. So what I realized is that um, it's very easy to go off track and especially when it comes to pursuing something that really matters to you. And I've shared this before, somehow when it comes to the things that we really, really want, everything in us would kind of like rise up to stop us from going after it. Like we will make all kinds of excuses to stay in our comfort zone and not take that risk. Um, we would justify why we shouldn't do it now and we should wait a couple of years till we have gathered enough skills, till we have more time, till we have more energy, till we have more money. Um, you know, insert whatever reasons you give yourself for not taking action on your dreams now. Or also for diverting yourself off of the path towards your dreams and your goals and you know what really matters to you. So I'm going to share a few tips of how to keep yourself on track. And by no means what I'm sharing is like, and you know, um, it's like uh, that's all there is. There are many, many ways to keep ourselves on track. And what's more important is to find something that works for you. And that a lot of times requires some testing out, some figuring out what would work and what doesn't work. And sometimes also, even if you found something that works, it just works for now. Because maybe in a couple of months when your situation has changed or when something in you has evolved or you have transcended certain patterns of yours, that thing that worked before would might no longer work and you have to find something else that would help. Um, so it's an ongoing process, so don't get fixated on any one particular method, but try out a different combination of things and sometimes you have to you know, make adjustments as you go along. So one of the things that I found really helpful for me is to have some sort of um, personal declaration or some sort of manifesto revolving around that objective that you have or that dream that you have or that goal that you have at the moment. Um, I like to call it, um, I, I like to focus not just on the goal, but really like the much bigger intention behind that or what I would say is like a higher path or a higher purpose. So as an example, what has been resonating with me lately is a statement from the manifesto from this coaching community that I'm a part of. And this statement goes, we intend that all we do make a positive contribution to the higher path of this world's consciousness. And that really speaks to me at this point in time because I realized that every single action that I take, is it something that forwards myself? Is it something that forwards the world? Is it something that forwards the people around me? And connecting to that statement helps me to stay on track towards my goals because then I realize it's not just about me, but the work that I do could actually transform or change or affect something in the world outside of myself. Another way that I have found quite useful to help myself get connected to my intention is to have like a theme song for that certain period of time. And um, so what I would do during those times where I use the theme song as a way to stay connected is I would sing that to myself every single morning. So every morning I would have like a realignment kind of time with myself where after waking up I would, you know, take some time to get connected again to the intention that I have set for this period of time. And then I would also sing my theme song so that I get myself, you know, feeling connected to it. Otherwise I would go about my day kind of just, you know, going through the motions of getting stuff done. Um, instead of really getting connected to what the real purpose behind all these stuff is for. Um, some other ways that I've seen people use as a way to help them stay connected is creating a vision board. So a vision board is a collage of images and words that you can like cut out from magazines or you can download from the internet and digitally put together. And it basically represents like the goals or the dreams or the vision that you have for whatever it is that you want to accomplish. So again, you want to make it as large as possible in the sense of, you know, like again, like a higher path, like a higher purpose, um, not just focusing on the task at hand, but something much bigger than that, that kind of, um, you know, guides you over the course of your life. And because, you know, our lives is not just the goals that we go for, but it's something much larger than that. It's like an entire path that we choose to walk on and the goals are kind of just pit stops along the way so even when you create your vision board or when you have your, like a personal manifesto or the theme song that you've chosen you want to also look at something that aligns with that much larger theme and not just limited to whatever you are currently working on 
Although, of course, if you have statements that are related to just that thing that you're currently working on, it also helps to get you aligned back to the purpose of why you're doing that in the first place. So these are just three of the ways that have worked for myself and for some of my peers in this um, community where we have these like project support groups. There are many ways that we can help ourselves stay connected to our intentions and it is really up to you to figure out what that is for you and to try out different ways to see what would help you hold yourself to that intention such that you ensure that you make whatever that is come true and you manifest your dreams and you create ultimately the life that only you can live in the best possible way. So if you have enjoyed today's video, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can also directly message me through any one of my links which you see in the write-ups attached to these videos and I'll see you next week.